skewness bowley's coefficient of skewness given a problem following figures relate to the size of capital of companies calculate bowley's coefficient of skewness given capital in lakhs of rupees and number of companies let's now proceed with the solution bowley's coefficient of skewness is given by q3 plus q1 minus 2m divided by q3 minus q1 where q1 denotes first quartile q3 denotes third quartile and m denotes median we have already discussed the formula for finding q1 q3 and median in the previous videos therefore let's proceed with the tabulation here we are given inclusive type class intervals therefore we have to find out true class interval which is obtained by subtracting 0.5 from the lower limit and adding 0.5 to the upper limit now write the given frequency values which is nothing but number of companies here and add the values and denote it by capital n we have n equal to summation f is 285 then find out the cumulative frequency values now let's proceed with the calculation here we have n as 285 that is total frequency value is 285 therefore find out n by 2 which is 142.5 then find n by 4 which gives you 71.25 then find 3 times n by 4 which is 213.75 so before using the formula for finding median q1 and q3 we have to first find out median class q1 class and q3 class here n by 2 is 142.5 therefore the median class is the value which is just greater than n by 2 in the cumulative frequency column here we get 162 as the median class next n by 4 is 71.25 therefore q1 class will be the cumulative frequency value which is just greater than n by 4 we get 76 as q1 class next 3 times n by 4 is 213.75 therefore q3 will be the cumulative frequency value which is just greater than 3 times n by 4 we get 215 as the q3 class so with these values let's now proceed with the calculation median is given by l plus n by 2 minus m divided by f into c where l denotes lower limit of the median class we have median class as 162 median class as 162 hence lower limit of the median class will be 20.5 n by 2 is 142.5 minus m m denotes cumulative frequency of the pre median class median class is 162 therefore cumulative frequency of the pre median class is 114 divided by f f denotes frequency value of the median class which is 48 here into c c denotes width of the uniform class interval which is 5 here so substituting all these values and simplifying we get median as 23.47 Let's now proceed with Q1 as given by L1, which is the lower limit of Q1 class. Q1 class is 
lower limit of the q1 class is 10.5 plus n by 4 n by 4 is 71.25 minus m1 m1 is cumulative frequency value of the pre q1 class q1 class is 76 therefore cumulative frequency of the pre q1 class will be 47 divided by f1 f1 denotes frequency value of q1 class which is 29 into c c denotes width of the uniform class interval which is 5 here we get 14.68 as q1 on simplifying let's now proceed with q3 which is given by l3 l3 denotes lower limit of q3 class lower limit of q3 class is 25.5 plus 3 times n by 4 is 213.75 minus m3 m3 denotes cumulative frequency value of pre q3 class q3 class is 215 therefore cumulative frequency of pre q3 class will be 162 divided by f3 f3 denotes frequency of q3 class which is 53 here into width of the uniform class interval which is 5 here therefore we get 30.38 as q3 on simplifying hence Bowley's coefficient of skewness is given by q3 plus q1 minus 2 times median divided by q3 minus q1 which is minus 0.1197 this shows that there is negative skewness